We are going to be working with my blockheads tonight. I love these guys. Check them out. These are handmade by me. There's two little ones and a bigger one. So what we're going to do with this wreath tonight is we're going to put these in and decorate it as though it's Christmas. But the way I'm going to do it is with red and white. So at a later date, I can just switch out some of the stuff and put Valentine's in. No, we didn't get snow, did you? No snow. Isn't that awesome? <clears throat> Thank you, Esther. I appreciate it. Well, I haven't seen you on here in a while, Pam. How you been? Good. Now, this is the first in a series of my blockheads. Okay, next. Susan! Hey! Susan's on. Next will be a set of snowmen. Then I have in the works a gnome. And then there's going to be more. So I'm excited. Been working hard. A little bit of the revision here and there, but we finally got it. Um, they are treated, so they will hold up well. Oh, okay. So... What I'm going to do, oh, don't tell me I forgot the, I had the stapler gun. Probably left it on the table. Well, I'll go ahead and hot glue these suckers on for now. Missy was sick, but she's doing much better now. We're just happy. She's she's good to go. I should probably holler to my husband and ask if I left it out there. Have any of you been in the Michaels craft store? Man, I'm telling you, they got nothing. They are so wiped out in our area now that AC Moore is gone, but next year we're getting hobby lobby. So we're excited. Usually I would staple these on, but I'm sure I left it out there on the table and I don't feel like going out and getting it. <laughs> Hi, Nanny Dot. I spoke with our Carol today, so. Now I'm going to use this uh, teardrop swag. It is probably a 28 incher, no, 30, 32 incher. All right, so that's what we're going to be working with. There's three types of pine in here, which I love, because you don't want it just to have one type. You want several. So we're going to actually put these in here. I know, it's crazy. I sold my snowman um, centerpiece that we did the trees on. I sold that today. I've sold a bunch of flags. I've sold a bunch of personalized children's room signs. So these look cute on here. Look at that. I love these things. I know, right? I'm about ready to string up my wreaths and put them on the front lawn, along with my uh, my um, flags. Made a bunch, a couple doormats today. So there, doesn't that look cute? All three of them down there. I know, right? It's awesome. All right, so. I thought what I'd do, I think I'm going to use both. I think maybe the mama one will put this in. The boy will do a bow tie with this, and then the girl will do a little 
little um, hair bow. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, he needs a bow tie. And my babies are gone, all my puppies. They're all doing awesome in their new homes. I miss them. It's too quiet. But I am getting a lot of work done, which I didn't when they were here. So, that works. Are you selling anything, Pam? I hope so. Doesn't he look cute? Look at that. With that little bow tie. I can't wait till you see the snowman and the gnome. I'm excited. Is anybody's Facebook working? Mine doesn't seem to be working right. There. Just going to fashion that into a bow tie. And let's give him a bow tie. Uh, let's put that over there and then in the glue. These are four inches and the bigger one is almost six inches. In case you were wondering of the size, I only have two sets of these available. Um, I didn't think the the gingerbread would be so popular right now but they make cute cute Valentine's additions too now I'm doing is fold it in half scrunching it in the middle and then wrapping this piece around to glue it awesome Good going. <laughs> I know how that that goes, Pam. The funny thing was, my girlfriend came and she wanted the centerpiece and I thought about giving it to her for Christmas. <laughs> but she bought it. So now I have to make her something else. This is going to be so cute. <laughs> Way to go, Esther. I haven't seen your Yeti. And I haven't seen the tree toppers either. You'll have to send me a picture. That's awesome. But see how versatile this will be, decorating it in the red and white? Because then it can be Christmas, it can be winter, or it can be Valentine's Day. And then we'll do a little hair bow for her hair. I appreciate y'all jumping on and I appreciate you spreading the love since Facebook is not letting us spread our own love. Don't know why. Is it cold up there, Esther, in Canada? Okay, so then we got a little bow. 
and since mama's bow is on this side, I'm going to stick her bow on that side. So look at that. Is that not cute? Thank you, Missy. Thank you, Pam. I really appreciate it. We're having to do our own sprinkling. Got some glue stuck to me. All right, let's get this little girl in here. very easy to attach the tinsel ties to this too. You probably have to go back and staple them just to reinforce them. Ooh. Oh my goodness. It's cold here, but it's only like 20. I'm still cold. We decided not to use the coal stove this year, so the heat is not as nice and even as that was, and I miss it. Okay, put this one on a little bit of a tilt. I can't wait till you see the snowmen. I've not done them yet, so... A little more. I know, right, Susan? Woo. There we go. Shake test. Blockhead shake test. These will be nice for tear trays too, so you don't have to just use them in a wreath. Put them on a mantle, they stand up real nice by themselves. Yes. I have not decorated my entrance yet, and usually by now I'm all decked out. But with the puppies, I just didn't have time keeping up with orders and everything else. So there's that. All right, that's the start. Now, I have, um, da, 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 da. I have balls, balls, I tell ya. Now, I could go ahead if I wanted and I could put these in. Because these are all like peppermints and such. But I'm not going to do that. I'm strictly going to stick with just the red and white and the white balls. That way, when it's time for Valentine's, they can even leave the white balls on and then just stick some, some hearts in there. So that's the plan. So... I'm going to choose some white balls to stick in here. I got a lot of balls. Lots of balls. I kind of like these too. See if I had any red ones. I know I did. I think we 
just going to stick with those. Maybe it was in another area. all disappeared on me. I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Whoops. I'll take this apart and I'll use the little red balls. I use some white balls and some little red balls. And this red and white ball we're gonna put at the bottom. Make a statement. I got balls. <laughs> I got them all over. Doesn't that look pretty? And then we're going to sprinkle some of these throughout. Look at this one I got. I kind of like these. I kind of like these better than I like those. So let's go for those. Because that I have in various sizes. These were actually purchased for a baby shower. Because I had the ornaments we were going to use as bubbles. Rubber ducky was the theme, and bubbles and bow ties actually was the theme. Another one of those, but of course we don't have a third one. Ooh, let's get a little wild. We got one of these. Let's get a little wild. Put a wild one in there. What the heck, right? There we go. Now, I think we'll put this one over here. And then this one up there. And then we'll scatter the white ones in there. Can y'all see okay? Yeah, wild, wild. <laughs> Pam likes them wild things. Oh, Missy, you know what? My leopard balls probably will look cute in this too. Oh well, we got it. All right, let's put some white balls. Let's sprinkle some white in here. These are the shatterproof ones. Kind of group these together. I'm going to kind of like group a couple together. There. All right. Put one down here. I even have deco mesh tubing that we can use. smaller one down here. Get to go wild. And 
and then we'll put this one up here and we'll need another one. So, get that one. This swag, this pine makes it really easy to put it in place. on here. No, I'm going to use this first. Too, but I think that's too much weight. I don't know. Did y'all have a good weekend? Anybody do anything fun? incorporate some of this ribbon in here. So I kind of like no. Um, let's see. I'm not sure. Let's work on the bow and then I'll see if I want to drape it down. Let's do that. Let's see how it goes. Now I've got a few choices here. I've got this snowflakes. Then I have a solid white. I thought that would kind of look cute underneath it kind of enhance it. Then I have this one and this one. And I'm just kind of feeling it out here. I may change these up a little. I don't know. What do you think of those four? Or go with a red instead of a white. Go with red, red, red. What do you think of those for? I don't think I like that. I could add a 
add that silver in there like that. What do you think? What's your flavor? You like those four together? Or I got all kinds. I think these, I think we'll go with these. All right. We will go with this. All right. <laughs> I must have been already cut. All right, I'm going to go with a, th oh, look at that. Why did I do that? That's so annoying. All right. First, I think I am going to put a tail in here that's going to come all the way down. You don't like the tan? I thought the tan would actually complement the brown. And it has snowflakes. Um, la, 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 la. Uh, too much check. Let's, let's use it and just see how it looks. I think as a layer underneath, it's going to be okay. Yeah, you're good at making your balls. All right, so... I'm going to do loops about six inches. And then I'm going to do three. just put it in the bow up top not the streamers going down the side just a little pop of color at the top I'm looking and I don't see black and white and red I mean, I have the buffalo check, and I'm trying to get away from that. This red has black in it. So th this is... Okay, so you're talking this one, then. We can incorporate that in there. Maybe take out the silver and put that in. Let's just do this in here, next to the red. The gray and white, this is the farm, the gray with the farm. I don't want to use this. Um, That gray and white would look good in there. I have 
gray and white check, but then I'm running into a lot of gray and white. I mean, a lot of check. Let me look. I'm just going to leave it at the top and we're just going to, because I want, I wanted some snowflakes in my bow. Woo! Getting a little crazy here. All right, we can remove this from the table. And... <clears throat> All right, let's see what we're going to use next. Let's go ahead and use this. Just pulling the white and the red out of there. And I'm not sure I'm going to go down the side with that one. So let's get that in there. Then either one of these. Maybe we should incorporate this in there. What do you think? All right. Which one? It's a secret, Pam. <laughs> what do you think? This one, let's go with this one. Oh, I think I like that one. And we may be able to take that down the side also. I hope I have enough. Uh-oh. All right, we're definitely adding it in the bow. If I need more, I think I have more in the other room. I want to add some black. Pulls out the color in their eyes. And it pulls out the color in this ornament. All right. Yeah. All right. Now... Then let's go with the check on top of that. No, stripe. Let's distance those checks from each other. There we go. These are awesome looking colors for, for um, Valentine's. Then we'll go with the dots. <clears throat> and then we'll put the checks on top. Yes. I 
I have more of this. So, I think the one going down the side is going to be the red and white. That'd be the one. And I even have some black mesh tubing. I think the mesh tubing would look good in there. Okay. And then see, they can add some of this Valentine's ribbon in there for the for Valentine's Day. I knew that was gonna fall. <laughs> All right. Now I want to take a piece of this. The twisting stuff is called tinsel ties. And they're in my Etsy shop. I think I have some white left and I have the beige. I'm all out of the pine. Um, it's, I think, $2.95 in my shop. I use it for everything. I use it instead of pipe cleaners. It just is a lot nicer. It doesn't rust like pipe cleaners does. It's my go-to for everything, tying my signs down, um, making my wreath base, everything. Just ask anybody who watches my lives, they'll tell you, I don't use pipe cleaners. Yes, very sturdy. It holds up through everything. I love it in a in a um, grapevine. It's very easy to push it through too. So, yep, it's the best stuff. And it's just easy to twist. All right, here we go. Let's jack up this bow. Let that go down there. As I'm in here, I'm trimming off some of the ends to the ribbon, so I don't want them showing. to evenly distribute the ribbon. Okay. And next we have the stripe.
turn this around. Sorry. I can see what I'm doing. figure out what color I want to use with that. I think I know. Alright. I'm going to take this down the side. with the diamonds, that black and white. There we go. Hi Carol, how are you? Thank you Pam. Looks really good with the red. See that? Awesome. All right. Sorry, I kind of got everything a mess here. this side with the other one. There we go. I'm going to be messing with that bow again. There. All right. It's an evergreen swag. I think it's like a 32 incher. It came from um, Sims. There's several. There's this kind of pine. There's this kind of pine. There's this kind. There's three types in there. There we go. Now we got it. I think this black against the red really makes it pop. Maybe what I should have done is put this as the little boy's bow tie or the little girl's hair bow. So they each have a different one, not the same. I think I'm going to make hers 
You can just pull this off. Thank you. I think I still have this left in my shop, and I might still have that left in my shop. There. I kind of like that for her hair bow. Do this right. Put a little glue here. Attach that to the back. Bring this around. And then they take this up and around and glue it in the back. See, I kind of crisscrossed them. Now I'm going to glue this in the back create a little center of the bow. Trying to do it without burning myself. Thank you, baby. Hi, Coco. I was hoping Kayla would be on tonight so I can say hi to my <laughs> say hi to my Max. Oh yeah. I think we need to jack it up with some black deco mesh. You know what I mean? Okay, there's what we got so far. Let me get my black the deco mesh. Now let's get some of that in there too. And there's my blockheads. They are so cute. Let's trim off this messy end. Now, do I put it with the other on top of the red? Just trying to see where it'll look good. I think we need to put it with the red. See, and I could hang this up now because the green and the gingerbread men are going to look Christmassy. And then come Valentine's, I can just add some of this just some ribbon in there. There. Then, I'm thinking with that, yes, yes, that's what I want. That was the look. I need a bigger table for sure. Went with a smaller table in this room, and now I'm wishing I kept the bigger one. Just got my ironing board on that end. <laughs> I love pearls. I just love the look of them. Let's fix our bow there. All right, we'll add some black there. That dirty end. What did you do to a wreath, Pam? Oh, 
That sounds good, Will. Bet you see, Steve is sucking up on it right now. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Welcome. We are just putting some finishing touches on this. You can always watch the replay on my web on my Facebook page under videos. And we're glad you could join us. I know, right? I love pearls. I just love the way they look. And I saw them in Michaels and I'm like, oh. And see, I like the ones that aren't styrofoam, like the berries. I like the hard ones that you know are going to last. That's just a little touch. All right, let's get this down here. Yeah. I may go back and add some more. I don't think that's enough of the pearls. I think I need to add a little bit more. Make it like five clumps of pearls. All right, this down here. Right down in here, wasn't it? I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> I know you're talking to me. Okay, let's go ahead and bling this out with some more pearls. Put one there and one up there. Yep, that'd be it. So now we can put this outside because we covered, I know what I want to do. I want to see what this will look like. I add some of this in the middle of the bow. It just needs a little something there. So we got three, four. I don't know if it's going to stay, but... Kind of like that, don't you? Sticking out of there. So let's figure out how we can get that in there. All right. I think we'll use a little of the white tinsel tie and take it down. through the middle. Just give it a little pop of black shine. Just gonna take a little maneuvering. down in here.
think we're done. And then, like I said, they can change it out. Just by taking these little picks. Where are they? There they are. All you'd have to do is just, well, come off there very good. See? Just add some little hearts in there. So I can sell this with a couple little hearts and they could leave it up now till after after Valentine's Day. What do y'all think? Do you like that? Don't like it, love it, hate it. Looking for the little ball. Cause Nah, I like it that way. Actually, we're gonna put some pearls in there in the middle of the bow. Bye, Susan. Thanks for stopping in. I think we'll add a couple. Let's bring it out. Yep. So then it's dual. Got those at Michael's. I'm just not sure if I want to add. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, bling. Looking for the end of my red. Did you all? I, I showed these last week. Did you all see these? They have them at Dollar General now. And they have cardinals on them. They have regular black or they have the birch. I showed those. Here's an end. Woohoo! Nope, that wasn't the end. I think just, I just want a little more red near these white balls. So I'm going to put another of the mesh in there. It just needs a little more pop. Yeah. needed it. <laughs> Did you ever see such a mess? Oh, just cut it with that. No, we won't. Another ball. Look at that one. Oh, look at that one. 
That's like a pretty gray. I might have to put that right in there. Ooh, I like it. like that ball. Maybe I should have kept that like at the top. I don't know. It's just really unique looking. Yeah. Isn't it? Like... I don't know. There's like a hole right here. It needs something. And I'm not sure. And I'm just not sure. Okay. I'm going to push the ribbon in a little further. That takes care of the hole. But I love this ball. I'm going to have to leave it out because I think it's going to look, I don't know, what do you think? I think it's going to look kind of out of place up here, unless I put it there under the bow. What do you think? What do you think? Yay or nay to that ball? You think right there in the middle? Let me see if I have something I can use to attach it with. If I can, I can we just ought to put it in there. What the heck? But see how this isn't really screaming Christmas. It really isn't screaming um, any holiday, really. Yeah, I gotta put that in there. That is one cool looking ball. Yeah, right here underneath the bow. Look at that. Ooh la la. What do you guys think? What do you think of my blockheads in there? So I'm representing winter, I'm representing Christmas, and I can definitely represent um, Valentine's Day. There we go. Oh, I love it. I love my blockheads. Do you like my blockheads? I can make them bigger. I can make them smaller. They stand up on their own if you want them for a tear tray. Um, so, yeah. That would be cool. Hopefully I can get my snowmen done and we'll use them on Wednesday when I go live at 2. What do you think? Yes. have my own process that I paint on them and 
all wood. And the snowmen will be wood too. And the snowmen are going to be so cute. But there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They ended up with a little bit of glitter on them from the balls, but they're actually looking kind of cute. I could glitter them up and make them frosty and look like they got snowed on. That would be cute. All right. I thank you all for joining. I thank you for spreading the love. And look forward to seeing you all on Tuesday or Wednesday at 2. And be sure to follow my friends. You got Missy on here with my sunshine wreaths and things. You got Willie on here with wall decor by Faye. So be sure to follow their pages too. Awesome designers. All right, you all have a great evening. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.